All right, so welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and today I got a very cool hack to show you, and this can work for your Fire Stick, your TiVo Stream 4K, or any streaming device that you have and want to take on the road with you. So for me, this will work in a lot of different scenarios. Maybe you're in the airport, maybe you're on vacation somewhere that doesn't necessarily have a TV handy or a monitor, or you don't have a monitor handy. You can now connect your Fire Stick, your TiVo Stream to your laptop, watch your movies, watch your content, and when you're done, unplug it, put it in your bag, and take off. So we're taking a look at a portable USB capture card. This is from NewTek. This only costs $25, and from my experience, this has less latency than my Elgato capture card, which costs over $100. So I'm not gonna talk too long. I am on my Fire Stick, guys. My Fire Stick is being powered by my computer, and also the capture card is plugged directly into the computer via USB. So all you need is two USB connections, and you can see everything there is going. So let's go ahead and we'll just launch, um, let's launch YouTube first. All right, so I was playing one of my videos right there. All right, so you can see that worked flawlessly. Don't want to go into any copyright videos, but let's just click on that for a brief second. You can see everything's working there. If we go back to, let's try a NBC Peacock. All right, so I have a couple shows there that we're watching. You see that's working flawlessly. All right, so there it is, full screen. And like I said, guys, this is my Fire Stick, so I can pause it, I can rewind, I can hit the home button. Audio playback is actually synced, which I was surprised. The latency on this is pretty good, guys. There is a slight delay, and I'll try to demo this. It's probably about a quarter to half of a second. So check this out when I press the button. So there is a little bit delayed, but for me, this is a lot better than my Elgato capture card, which costs probably about three times as much. Also wanted to mention that I will be giving two of these away, so stay tuned, watch the entire video. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification, that way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So all you need essentially, laptop with power you'll need some kind of a wi-fi so maybe the airport or maybe you're doing a hotspot or whatever you're using you, you will need a network connection for the fire stick not necessarily your laptop this will also be ideal for your tivo stream 4k and the cool thing about that is that it uses a micro usb which means you can just plug it directly into the side of your computer and you have power so i'm going to get into the the configuration not just the hardware configuration but what you need to do with the software this is going to be plug and play guys you don't need proprietary software plug it in open obs tweak a couple settings and you're all set so let's go ahead and jump into the details so the first thing i wanted to do is just show you what's in the box and go over some of the product details so this is a new tech hdmi usb video capture card guys it is usb 2.0 the max supported input resolution is 4k the supported output is 1080p so keep that in mind as far as your your color support you have 8 10 as well as 12 bit deep color supports awg 26 as far as the software it works with basically anything that's compatible guys so if you use vlc if you use obs if you use amcamp it will work it does have support for windows android as well as mac os so that's basically it let's um just take a look at what's in the box this unboxing is going to be pretty easy so these are the only three things that actually comes in the box. So the first one is gonna be the actual capture card. Just as HDMI capture on the front output is gonna be USB. This is where you're gonna actually plug in your HDMI device. So whether it's a fire stick, whether it's a camera, anything that basically uses HDMI should work properly on this. So we have the booklet as well. It's gonna give you some information how you can use this. All right, you can see 
the laptop demo there is the prime example. And the last thing in the box is a USB extension. So that will come in handy if you don't have the, the room. You can just go ahead and plug it in like this. Plug this into your computer, plug your HDMI device in here, and you're all set. So the software that we're gonna be using for this is OBS Studio. So we'll go ahead and launch it. So the first thing you need to do when you get into OBS is add a source. So you're gonna to go to sources, you're gonna hit the plus button. We're gonna go down to video capture device. Click on it, and now we're just gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna name mine HDMI dongle. Next, we're gonna just click OK. Once you click OK on the devices, hit the drop down, and we're looking for USB video. That should switch the input. So before we leave the screen, make sure you set your audio. That way, the audio will pass through to your computer speaker. So to do that, gonna go all the way down. So on the output mode, we're gonna click on Use Custom Audio Device. Click on it. And where it says digital audio, we're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna click OK. And now we only have two more steps to do, guys. So next, we're gonna to go to our settings on OBS. And we're gonna to go to audio. And where it says monitor and device, we're gonna hit that drop down. We wanna make sure we select our speakers, headphones, or if you guys have an audio interface, whatever device you want the audio to come out, that's what you're gonna select. So click on it, and we're gonna click apply. I'm gonna click OK, and we have one more step. So the last step next to our audio devices, we're gonna click on our settings, we're gonna click on advanced options, and where it says HDMI dongle, you're gonna to go to the right, and on the drop down, guys, you have three options. The monitor is either off, monitor only, mute output, monitor, and output. So depending on what you're doing, guys, I just select monitor and output for this setup and then I hit close. So once you do that, the last step you need to do is just make your device full screen. So to get to the full screen, just right click anywhere right there in the gray area. I'm gonna go to full screen preview, select the monitor that you want it to be full screen on. And there you go. Everything's working and everything's working well. So cool little hack, like I said, this was $25 on Amazon. I will be leaving a link in the description. Also, two of them for the giveaway. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you're gonna use this video capture card for, and I will pick a winner with the random picker in a couple days. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smash a thumbs up, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.